afternoon. Once again, we are coming to share with you about the underground utility detection for the total solutions. Uh, in our previous video, we have already introduced the electromagnetic locator and GPR. So, there is another tool uh, to complete the underground utility detection uh, requirements for precious technology, especially the HDT install ducts and pipes. Over here on my hand, there is a gyro device. Okay, this gyro device is designed to do the as built data measurement for the installed HDD pipe from A to B. All right, let us introduce that uh, how this equipment can be applied to solve the problems at site, especially for horizontal directional drilling pipeline information. This is the horizontal directional drill machine. All right. Horizontal directional drilling machines have been inserted in 1970s and in year 1990s, this technology had been developed and the maturation to use this system or this installation method is because due to the demand to minimize the environmental impact. And today, HDD machines have become one of the major transfer technology used in construction of the new pipe laying or utilities, utilities laying. And the, the use of un, uh, HDD drilling machines, the demand has been increased. And over the last 10 years, every year, there's an average from 2,300 to 2,500 units of HDD machine being sold worldwide. These are the explanation on how HDD machine is carry out the installation at site. So first of all, the machine will do a pilot hole and this pilot hole from A to B, it can cross the river and also cross, do the crossing on the busy highway. And after that, it will pull back the pipeline, use the same path and install the pipeline at the same time. All right, this is to minimize any excavation and also to reduce the traffic situation or interference. When carrying out the installation via the HDD methodology, and there is a possibility the drilling will go through and hit on the sewer line or others buried utilities. And this situation is exposed the gas pipe into a dangerous situation where the sewer contractor, if they do the cleaning on the pipe, sewer pipe, it will be easily cut and damage the gas pipe and that will be created gas leak and it could become a catastrophic or explosion when there's uh, a spark. So these are the situation and commonly uh, and always we can see there are other utilities like the communication cables be installed inside the sewer line. And how about those pressurized pipes like water and gas? where some of the damages being created and yet nobody aware the damage is happened at which location. So for us to avoid this happening, uh, there is a case study 
being highlighted here, just the power company alone in 2019, a total of more than 600 incidents of the power cable being damaged in this country. And out of 600 incidents, HGD alone, there is more than 100 cases of live cable damage through the HDD uh, construction or drilling. All right, back to the technology. This is the solution uh, that available in the market to allow the utility company to have a good record and manageable record for those utility being laid. Gyroscope is an equipment which is based on the gyroscopic accelerometer and magnetometer. So the combination of these three sensors will uh, form out an orientation measurement unit. This technology has to be fully calibrated at a high level of accuracy before the unit sent out to the end user. So the system calibration calibration system for the gyro to ensure that the device will able to deliver a very high accuracy of measurement as all the pipeline is being installed underground and no measurement can be measured from the top. So if there is any uncertainty of the accuracy, that means there is no meaning for us to do the measurement. Okay. And this is the sample of the calibration certificate which will be delivered together with the system. Okay, from here we can see uh, the result calibrated before and after. This is the tolerance of the uh, result before and after. The blue bar shows that before calibrate, it has a high percentage of deviation in accuracy. After calibrated, the short bar shows that the deviation or tolerance is very small in error. So this is to support that every contractor of the HDD need to show that the equipment is calibrated and to assure the high accuracy of as built data measurement of the duct. And the calibration procedure and method is clearly shown here. It must be calibrated by a dedicated calibrating robot. Okay, so I have to address this once again. For using the gyro orientation measurement unit to measure the s -build, the client have to ensure that the contractor need to provide the calibration certificate to ensure that the equipment will deliver a very high accuracy measurement for the data collected. And how that the gyroscope working? Okay, how it's work? So the gyroscope have to position inside the pipe and align as well as possible accurately inside the pipe. And the operator will pull through or winding through from point A to point B along the pipeline. Then the sensor will process and calculate the changes in the X direction of the gyroscope, the Y direction, and also the depth in Z direction, Z position. The row position also being calculated. It will take hundreds of samples in a second and will produce that sample into the coordinate X, Y, and Z. This is the accuracy that we are looking into. For any contractor who using 
the gyroscope to do the measurement, the accuracy has to be less than 2.5% uh, of the total length for the X and Y plant. Okay, the horizontal profile must not more than 0.25% of the total length. And the Z plant is the depth of the uh, measurements and its accuracy must not more than 0.1% of the total length. Okay? Uh, for example, if there is a 100 meters pipeline to be measured, so the biggest error or the spread at the horizontal positions should not more than 25 centimeter and the depth tolerance will not more than 10 centimeter that is the accuracy that we are looking into using this system so this is this equipment can be used to measure from for any pipelines need to be measured from 3 inch so we can do a measurement started from 3 inch and up to 1.5 meter pipe diameter by changing different set of the wheel okay for different pipe size there is different sets of wheel can be changed to measure for bigger pipeline So these are the data output that can be uh, collected and to projected based on the client or customer requirement. So the gyroscope will be able to provide the XY coordinate in the 3D format and then it also can measure the pipe bending radius, the weld, welding offset calculation as well as to export in the Google map. So um, customer can view the result through the Google Map and the GPS coordinate will be combined into every intervals of points being measured all right in GPS coordinate so this is how the equipment uh, look like the same probe can be used for various pipe sites and then the view set will be able to be expanded in the future if there's a bigger pipe need to be measured with this system. Another set of view set what we call is the invert view set. That means invert view, the view, the scope will be sitting at the bottom of the uh, pipeline. Okay, the invert of the pipeline instead of in the center of the pipeline. Okay, this is due to the uh, sewer line, especially we have a bigger gap that we need the bigger view to move across the bigger gap on every pipe joint. So. Uh, this invert view will normally be used on sewer pipeline uh, detection or measurement. Here it is important for all the contractor to aware, HDD contractor to aware, there is a guideline and industrial requirement in place. Okay? The guideline has stated that all HDD install utility must be measured with the gyroscope orientation measurement unit to provide the astute drawing after the pipeline being installed via the horizontal directional drill. Okay, I will repeat. The horizontal directional drill 
need to be measured using the zero scope orientation measurement unit for all those new lead ducts or pipe. Here are the examples that uh, we have done a lot of data collection for evaluations and this is the trial project in Putrajaya where operators have to measure the two point A and point B for their coordinates using GPS. So these two points have to measure with a high accuracy GPS to ensure that the result that will be collected or measured is accurate. Okay, I repeat, the point A and point B on every pipe to be measured need to be picked up the X, Y, Z coordinate using a high accuracy GPS system to ensure the high accuracy result being collected or measured by the gyroscope. And uh, this is how that uh, we uh, do the pulling and measurement. Okay, we can use it manually or we can use the winch, electronic winch, uh, to pull it. So the result collected compared to the design drawing. Here is the result of the SPU pulse versus the blueprint. The white line, dotted white line, is where the HDD contractor plan for the path of the installation. At the end of the project, this pipeline is measured through the orientation measurement unit or gyroscope and we got a red line path which is sitting in the middle of the road below the road. And this is another good example. And the green line, straight line, is the planned path for the HDD. And after installation, it has been measured for the SPU using the gyroscope. And we can see there is a deviation, especially in the middle part, which is a quite big of a deviation on this part. So this is how important that we have to keep an accurate data in order to be prevented in the future project uh, in, in the future project by the third party. And the utility, utility company can manage the data more effectively. And again, this is a, a KLA, KLIA trial project. We have the contractor to do a measurements in the open car park at KLIA. So there are two measurements being taken. One is the Jalan KLA one and the other one, the other one is the Jalan CTA3. So we blow up and we can see that the crossing of the HD is crossing the Jalan KLA one and this one is along the roadside of the Jalan CTA3. And these are the result, accurate result, which can be used to manage the safety of this pipeline in the future. And TNB is one of the uh, party that participate in the evaluation uh, together with RDG Supply to evaluate whether how good is the technology and the accuracy for helping them to manage the data and to avoid damage to the uh, cables when there's any construction or HDG go through. And this is the result uh, that we collected and projected. The HDD is always lay like a snake, it's not straight line. So the path from the plan view is
is actually uh, look naturally snake. Okay. And we also done the trial in Sinai, Johor, Iskandar project, where there is uh, two installation of uh, HDD. One is uh, three circuit of uh, cable, the other one is the one circuit of the cable. And we have done two different measurements and you can see that the actual path is not parallel. So there's a deviation between these uh, two cable paths in this area. A good news to update uh, to all the agency and also the authority as well as the utility company and June 2020 we have the first tender BQ which has been stated and specified for the gyro SPU data submission requirement okay this is a good news that the uh, the Saba Electrical Electricity Company is actually taking an uh, initiative move to put into the spec to prepare gyro data digital utility and the utility plan for the submission to Jupum and Saba Electricity Board um, for 33 kV underground cable. So this is a good news and this is how uh, we can prevent this cable to be damaged during excavation or another STG installation. Here we are going to share a video that uh, to show the roadmap and the introductions of the gyroscope into Malaysia market which have been taken about 10 years to initiate uh, this technology and to introduce the implementation for the benefit of sustainable development and also the safety of the utility itself. And it is started from 2009 until 2020 before the first handle being asked for the technology requirement.
Okay, thank you for uh, following us on this video. So before I end uh, our sharing today, I would like to um, highlight to the local authority, to the utility company, and also the HDD contractors that this is the technology available uh, using the gyroscope to ensure that the pipeline data is accurate and this data is able to allow the utility company to manage its data and to safeguard the utility for sustainable development requirement. Thank you very much.